Welcome to the SolidCam University channel. This video's topic is creating a custom coordinate system inside of SolidWorks. So sometimes the coordinate systems we need for programming are much easier created inside of SolidWorks than they are inside SolidCam. Uh, in this case, we're working with an assembly. I have two parts that I want to place the origin in the middle of. Okay, so uh, the easy way really is just to go to the assembly tab inside this assembly, or if you're in a solid file, just a single file, you can go to the feature tab and you're going to look for reference geometry. Under reference geometry, we'll find coordinate system. And the coordinate system creation is similar to what we see in solid cam. We're just going to start with an origin. So I'll just click on origin and I've sketched that point right there. That's where I want my origin to be. And then we have to set up the X, Y, and Z axis. Obviously, with the right-hand rule, as soon as I set up two of those axes, the third one will pop into place. So I'm just going to jump ahead to the Z axis and say that I want my Z axis to point parallel to this line. You can see that it's parallel to that line. I'm going to flip it around using this reverse button. And then I'm going to jump back to the X axis and basically say I want my X positive to be in this direction. So now, the x-axis is parallel to that line, the z-axis is parallel to that line, and the origin is on that point that I created. I'll click on the green check mark, and that becomes a coordinate system. Now, how do I use that inside SolidCAM? Well, we'll go to Tools, SolidCAM, New Milling. We'll just save the changes that I made. Click OK on that. Okay, and we'll go to the coordinate system manager. And again, I could have created that using the same sort of select face and all those options there, but I actually created it ahead of time uh, just to show you how it's done inside SolidWorks. Now, because we know that we've had it already part of the original SolidWorks part, I'm just gonna go right to select coordinate system. The coordinate system that I created pops up in this list. I click on that, it automatically knows the X, the Y, and the Z direction because I defined them inside SolidWorks. Click the green check mark and that becomes my Mac 1, position 1, automatically. And I can program off of that coordinate system just like I would any other coordinate system we create inside SolidCAM. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCAM, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts and your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com, or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.